My name is Doug Eldred. I own a shop in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. We do collision work and hot rods. Uh, name of the shop is Eldred Hot Rod and Collision. Uh, this particular vehicle started life as a 1939 Chevy truck cab. Uh, basically, that's all I had was a cab and doors. I, I had a little rendering that I found in a magazine of a rat rod truck, and I was hooked. I wanted a truck that looked like that, but one thing led to another, and here's what we have today. Uh, it actually has a, a Chevrolet 355 crate engine, four, four deuce Stromberg 97s on top to give it the vintage look. The engine block itself has just as nice of a finish on it as the rest of the truck. Uh, I do have a little over 100 hours smoothing all the casting off the block, filling any unneeded holes, uh, any rough edges on the, on the engine block itself are, are gone. You notice the frame rails come through the firewall, through the back of the cab. It has quarter elliptical leaf springs, which are basically a leaf spring cut in half at all four corners. I tried to keep the build somewhat traditional styling with uh, my own twists. Added a lot of artistic pieces to it, uh, which you see the etched brass throughout. I would buy chunks of brass off eBay, usually scraps, and uh, I do have a mill, and I would, I would rough mill parts or fully mill them, and then I wanted to give them more of a sand-casted look, so I would remove all the rough edges off of them and, and by hand, sand them, you know, just make them look handcrafted, no matter what. Uh, I would say out of all the vehicles I build, I'm, I'm most happy with this. We switched to De Beer in my collision shop, tried it out for a while, things worked out great. You know, it, it sands and polish, polishes wonderfully, so, and as you can tell by the finish, you know, it, it definitely stands out in the crowd. Prime, from the primer, you know, epoxy primer, primer filler, color, clear coat, top notch, top to bottom. Thank you.